today I'm going to be introducing you to my new Bernadoodle puppy. Say hi! So his name is Blue and he is 10 weeks old currently. Tomorrow he will be 11 weeks. He was born on January 29th, 2019 and he is so cute and just He's huge, you guys. Ginormous. He's trying to get out of my arms. <laughs> so, yes, this is Blue. He is our new little teddy bear, and we are just so in love with him. Um, last Tuesday, he weighed in at 20 pounds. We got him at 8 weeks. Sorry, he escaped. Now he's just going to lay and look at me. Hi. <laughs> so we got him at exactly eight weeks, which was on March 26th of this year. Um, and the reason it took me so long to film this video, which definitely I have thought about, I thought about it even before we actually got him. Um, the reason I didn't film this video yet was number one, because it's hard to just like break up his routine and come up here and film. Like there's been a million other things we've been doing with him other than like making him sit and be sweet and quiet for a video. Um, but the other big main reason is is um, if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that on February 24th, um, Curly, our dog of 12 and a half years, passed away. Um, it was super sudden and unexpected, and we were totally shocked. And anyone that knows us, or if you just watched me, you know that Curly was like my whole world and my whole family's whole world. We spoiled him rot, and he literally was like part of our family. We only had ever had him. Um, my sister had had him since she was three years old. I was five years old when we got him. Like, it just is, we were completely lost. Sorry, he's crawling. <laughs> um, three days before my 18th birthday, and it was just a really rough time because we had a lot of plans already happening, and just, it was so crazy, but I just want to say that I'm so thankful for how it happened because obviously we knew he would pass away eventually, like we all will, and I'm just so grateful to God about how it happened. It just happened in the most peaceful way it could have, and I'm just so grateful because it could have happened so many ways and it could have gone a lot worse than it did and I just know he's up in puppy heaven with God. Um, I feel like I still see him every day and different things and I, I feel his presence still so that was really devastating and I was completely heartbroken about it so I didn't know whether or not I should make a full dedicated video about it. Honestly, I didn't feel like I was really in the place to be able to make a full dedicated video about it yet. And then I also didn't want to just like gloss over it because it's one of the worst things that's ever happened to me and it has changed me and my life a lot. I didn't feel like it was right to just ignore it because it was a huge event to me and um so I just figured I would include it in this video and I felt like this also maybe could show that even though things really suck and you lose people, you lose pets and it's absolutely devastating that there can be some good to come out of it. So that leads me into Blue. So we immediately were not looking for a puppy. We really were just kind of like, okay, you know, obviously we know we'll probably want a dog, but if you've ever lost a dog, especially like your first dog or anything, like you'll know that you kind of feel like I'll never love again. Like I really kind of felt like I wouldn't be able to love another dog at least not at first so we were not even going to consider consider getting another dog till july um we were kind of were just like leaving it at that you know whatever but um my sister she's really into animals she loves dogs she loves animals she was just kind of researching you know potential breeds that we, we might want um because curly was a golden doodle which is a mix of a golden retriever and a poodle and he was so smart and he didn't shed and he was just so beautiful and we knew if and when we got another dog we would want some sort of poodle doodle mix. So my sister started researching them, researching doodle breeds and she came across the Bernadoodle which is what Blue is. So he is a mix of a Bernese Mountain Dog and a poodle. Um, he is a standard um, which means he's supposed to get to between 60 to 80 pounds I believe which I totally totally think he's probably gonna be close to 80 pounds so she just started researching it and we just kind of started you know playing around with the idea of oh we like that type of dog it doesn't shed it's a poodle mix blah 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 but we could not find any any that were going to be on sale in our area that we could rescue in our area we found nothing not even like litters that were to be born or anything so we kind of like okay we really like that type of dog but like 
are we really going to travel to a whole different state? And like, we didn't really want to fly our dog because I don't know, I've just heard horror stories about like dogs on planes. So we really felt like we would have to just drive to get them, which was fine. But anyway, so it was kind of a headache that we really weren't even looking for at the time. So fast forward a couple weeks, um, my mom was kind of campaigning for us to get another golden doodle, which my sister and I didn't want because at least for me, I just really wanted the um, memory of a golden doodle and what a golden doodle looks like to only be associated with curly just because I don't know it's just like I wouldn't have felt right about getting another golden doodle and I just feel like I would have been constantly reminded of like the loss of curly I don't know if that makes sense but my mom decided to call a local golden doodle breeder anyway just to see you know like if she had my mom really wanted a chocolate one to see if she had any like chocolate ones that were going to be coming available soon so she called them and so when she called this breeder who only advertised having golden doodles and this breeder was like about an hour away she only advertised having golden doodles so my mom was calling purely to see what type of golden doodles she had she called and said hey um what type of dogs do you have and the lady literally said i have two male bernadoodles that will be available march 27th and um they are adorable they're cute they're standard size blah 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 and we were in total shock because previous to this as i was saying we were kind of kicking around the idea of getting another dog we said okay we really want to wait till july but in case the dog falls into our lap it would have to be after spring break and our spring break went from march 16th to the 26th and we also said it would have to be male. We really wanted another male dog. And it would have to be close enough for us to go get it conveniently and all this stuff. And we really prayed that, like, if God finds it in his heart and it's in his will for us to get another dog, then he will line it up for us and let us get another dog. So it was just totally a God thing, in my opinion, that this lady randomly, she had two male Bernadoodles. They were the right size, the right age, and they were going to be available the day after spring break. So I just felt like, even though I still felt a little bit in my heart that maybe I wasn't ready, not to like take care of it, but to like fully open myself back up to that, I knew that like God was literally like flashing it in our face like, this is your puppy. <laughs> because it, there was just no way it could have been a better situation. So we bought him, we went, we got him, my mom, my sister and I went and you want Sissy to hold you. But so we went and got him March 26th and my mom's sister and I brought him home because my dad had to work so unfortunately he couldn't go with us but we brought him home and we immediately were in love. He was so much cuter than we could even imagine. He's been a total little godsend to us and we just absolutely love him. So when we got him he was eight weeks old and he was already 13 pounds. And last week, I weigh him every Tuesday because he turns in a week every Tuesday. So last Tuesday, he was already at 20 pounds. And I feel like he has gotten even heavier and bigger since then. Tomorrow, I will weigh him and see what his new weight is. But currently, he is at least 20 pounds, if not more. He is so funny. I've never seen a dog who, like, pounces and, like, stalks things like he does. He's so strong. He's an absolute cuddle bear. And he sleeps so much. He sleeps all the time but when he does wake up he is a monster he is evil when he wakes up evil <laughs> but it's just that type of puppy energy he's got those sharp little puppy teeth that hurt so we've started wearing like gardening gloves on our hands because he just like bites and nips and stuff but honestly we're just so grateful to have him and i just feel like with me going off to college this fall and stuff this was an amazing thing for my family and i to bond over and i'm so glad that with curly passing that my parents and my sister didn't have to do that without me and that we could all you know be here and be strong as family unit during that difficult time and then of course to welcome little blue into our family we were all here to do that and i just could not be more grateful and excited for him he literally takes up my whole world now um my poor mom barely goes out anymore so so he does get a little bit of separation anxiety, but he has caught on so great. He started to go up and down stairs by himself. Um, he doesn't swim yet, but we put him in the pool. Um, we put him in the pool a couple times, and he kind of, as long as you're holding him, he's totally cool with it. So we hope he grows into a little swimming bug. Yeah, like I said, he just loves to play. He loves to sleep. He's so sweet. And I'm going to be so sad in a couple weeks when I probably won't be able to pick him up anymore because he's so heavy. But yeah, we are just so blessed and so grateful and thankful to have him. And I just want to come on here and formally introduce you guys to him. So if you have any questions, just leave those down below. I'd be happy to answer any. And if you have any comments or thoughts, 
please let me know down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and follow me on all my other social media and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more blues videos. But yeah, um, I just want this video to be happy and positive and just show you guys that something so terrible and so saddening can blossom into something really exciting and that if you've lost a pet, my heart goes out to you because I know that feeling and it is horrible and just know that it will get better and that God has you and your pet and your future pet in his hands and that it will all work out. So yeah guys thank you so much for watching and I love you.